Hi, this is Chef Lenore, back in the kitchen making pork belly fried rice. The fall always reminds me of the state fair, and coincidentally, I'm also making this at the state fair this year. We got a plate of pork belly. Pork belly is essentially just the bacon, so you can get the one whole piece. If you can't find this, you can certainly use bacon. The first thing we're gonna do is crisp this up in a pan, and then we're gonna make fried rice. And so, um, I just got rice that's pre-made, because sometimes you have rice, sometimes you don't. This is so easy just to get this. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and slice these down into like one inch chunks, and then I'm gonna cube them from there because I want big pieces of pork in there. And instead of using oil, we're gonna use the pork fat. This is why I can't be skinny, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the stove on to like a medium high heat. All right, I'm gonna put in here, I love this smell, the sound of that sizzle. Okay, this is about a pound and a half of pork, and it looks like it's a lot, but it's really not that much because it's gonna reduce down. You know what goes really well with pork belly? Champagne. <laughs> Perfect, now we're just gonna let this sit, crisp up. Now we're gonna prep all the vegetables. First we're gonna zest the ginger, and I don't even take the skin off. Same thing with the garlic, you're gonna zest the garlic. About three cloves of garlic, a quarter of an onion diced. Look at all that pork belly. Look at that, look at it. It's just still singing to us, it's like, hello, look. A little glitter. So I'm gonna save most of it. There's probably about a tablespoon of pork fat in there. This is when I throw in all the aromatics, so white onions, garlic, and ginger. What you wanna do is get the onions a little translucent. You can smell all the flavors in here. This is what I call the holy Asian trinity here. Garlic, ginger, some onions, yum. Turn the heat to about medium heat. Let this sit for about a minute or two. I'm gonna throw in about a cup of frozen carrots, peas, corn, and green beans. Easy peasy. You scoot all these vegetables to one side. Two eggs. Then you're gonna scramble these eggs right over here. The vegetables are still warming up on the other side. Then you're gonna mix those two together. Like this. We are almost done, guys. Four cups of rice in here. This is such a quick, easy meal. Even if you didn't use the pork in there, you just did like a, you can do rotisserie chicken in here. Just as easy. We're gonna do two tablespoons of soy sauce. I use the oyster sauce. One, two. And what's not traditional is the apple cider vinegar. Just because the pork belly is so rich, I like the acidity and the tartness this is gonna add to it. I'm gonna fry two eggs on top because I like extra egg in there. Get a little salt and pepper on here, and then get your pork belly in. Little crispy shards of pork all nestled inside this warm rice. And then we're gonna use the cilantro and green onions for garnish at the very end. So you guys know there's a pound and a half of pork in here. So to offset all of this fatness, unctuousness, we're gonna put a little lime, just a little bit, just right on top, just like that. So I'm gonna make my perfect bite. So you got a little rice, you got a little pork. I'm gonna put two porks in there. See that steam coming off? How perfect this is bite. Yup. It's good. So, hold on. This is the perfect fall dish, especially for the state fair. You got fried pork, you got fried egg. You got some vegetables for healthiness in there. You can make this or come see me at the State Fair Friday, September 28th at 4.30 in the Creative Arts Building. See you soon.